Well, more than a month after wildfires devastated parts of Maui, the recovery is slow for many residents. Some still not even allowed back into their neighborhoods with the registration deadline for temporary housing coming due today. Maui officials hope to address those concerns at a meeting later today. And News Nation's Natasha Zuvest is here with the very latest ahead of the meeting. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Kelly. And our team monitoring that meeting, it's set to begin in less than two hours. The Maui County Council is expected to call a formal investigation into the wildfire response. And as you said, it has been five long weeks since the fire devastated Lahaina, claiming 115 lives, leaving an estimated 4,500 people displaced. And many residents from the historic community will finally be able to return to see what is left of their homes. Thursday, Maui officials announced that residents will be receiving vouchers to pass through the devastation site starting next week. And authorities are hoping that this will help the families who lost everything, including including loved ones, begin to find closure. I know some people haven't even been back to their properties yet because there's so many, you know, so much red tape to, to cross in order to get there. Um, so if they can get there, I think that'll kind of start a healing process for them. And meanwhile, the utility company, Hawaiian Electric, is set to go before Congress in less than two weeks to testify on its role in the wildfires. And as you know, there are multiple lawsuits filed by both Maui family members and Maui County that it alleges Hawaiian Electric's power lines were responsible for sparking that fire. Now, Hawaiian Electric has denied those claims. They're actually blaming Maui County firefighters for their inadequate response. That hearing set for September 28th. And then Kelly today, we are getting our very first look at what the Republican-led House Oversight and Accountability Committee will be looking into when it comes to FEMA's response to the wildfires. In a letter sent to FEMA administrators, the committee outlines eight specific questions about federal uh, support offered to the people of Maui, and also importantly, questions um, involving FEMA employees staying in those luxury hotels for a reported $1,000 per night. We know a FEMA officials have until September 29th to respond to that. Kelly. All right, a lot to follow there. Natasha, thank you so much for the update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.